Okay, guys, over here I'm boiling some uh, water. Just going to pour in a little bit of Chinese rice wine. I'm going to add in a teaspoon of salt. Then here's my pork knuckles. I'm just going to put it in here. The water hasn't boiled yet, but you can wait until it boils. I'm just going to dump it in here. Okay, while this is cooking in the water, we're just going to boil this for like a few minutes to get away its impurities and stuff before we drain it. Okay guys, so I boiled it for a few minutes. You can see all that uh, crap coming out of the water here. So I'm just going to drain this and clean the pork knuckles and then I'll show you guys how to do the stir fry. Okay guys, let's stir fry the pork knuckles. Okay, over here I'm preheating my wok over here. Just gonna add in a good amount of olive oil. Okay, over here I've got some crushed ginger and garlic. Just take a little scoop, it's about two tablespoons here. Get that flavor out. So we here I've got some chopped uh, onions here. Get out the onions as well. So we're gonna dump in our pork knuckles now. And also I'm gonna add in uh, one slab of brown, Chinese brown sugar. Put it in there. Cooking, we can also add in our tomatoes here. Okay, I'm first going to add in uh, half a bowl of soy sauce. So half a bowl, maybe it's just two of these spatula scoops here. A bowl of soy sauce, adding about a tablespoon of dark soy sauce for color. Drizzle some Chinese rice wine all around. We're gonna add in uh, about two tablespoons of white vinegar here. Gonna drizzle some oyster sauce all around. Drizzle some sesame oil all around. Okay, if you want it to be a little bit of uh, a little bit of chili for a little kick, you can add in a few chili pieces. But here I'm using some Mexican chili relish. Just gonna add in one teaspoon. Then over here I got some fermented red bean curd. I'm just gonna add in two scoops like this. You get a little bit of that fermented red bean curd red sauce just for some color in the steel. Okay, next I'm going to add in uh, three teasp uh, two teaspoons of hoisin sauce. And that's our, uh, our sauces for this uh, steel here. Okay, turn up the heat and let's stir this up. Smelling good guys, smelling good. Just let all the sauces fill up before we add this into the pressure cooker. The pressure cooker is going to make some delicious tender pig, uh, pork knuckles here. Okay, now all our pork knuckles are coated in the sauce, it's ready. Uh, 
I dump it into the pressure cooker. Okay guys, so here's my pressure cooker. I'm using a silver crest brand over here, a very cheap, affordable brand. Let's put it, let's put the stew into the pressure cooker. So over here I've got some chopped up potatoes over here. You can also add in carrots but I'm only adding in potatoes. Just place it all on top. Potatoes can be bigger pieces as the pressure cooker is gonna pressurize everything and everything will become tender and soft. Okay now we're just gonna add in a half a cup of hot water. You'll see when you pressurize, after you pressure uh, cook this uh, steel over here, you'll see on top there will be so much water because it's like the potato has water, tomatoes have water, so yeah, everything is gonna come together once this is pressurized, cooked. And we're just cooking this for about 15 minutes. Once everything is hot, it will start cooking for 15 minutes. And then we'll leave it in here for about uh, one to one and a half hours. Okay, as you can see, let's put on the meat function, which is just 15 minutes once it's hot. Okay, now we're just gonna let it pressurize and then you'll see the results. Very quick and easy, delicious pork knuckle stew. Okay guys, the stew is ready. Let's check this out. Oh yeah. Let's put it in the bowl. Potatoes here. Yeah. Pork knuckles, yeah, yummy. Pork knuckle steel. Okay, guys, this is pork knuckles, yeah. Wow, check at that. Okay, guys, let's give this a try. Check that out. Wow. Wow, check that. Deliciousness. Okay, let's give this a try. Pressure cooker pork trotters here. Let's taste. Mmm. Damn, it's so tender. Mm, the skin is so good. If you're not using the pressure cooker, it might take about two hours for it just to get soft, guys. So, yeah. Very tasty. Mm. This recipe, try it, guys. Mm.